Hey Tyler Farr, thanks for giving me this shirt years ago. I've used it to work on boaters. Anyway, love you dude. Well, good morning everybody. I got my coffee. And I uh, got several projects going, but uh, coffee. Ah, we're at it this morning. You can see it's still wet. I think we're gonna maybe possibly get a little rain today. For all you uh, guys that have been that watched my series on the Mercury 550 horsepower. Thanks a lot, a bunch, man. Uh, I shot that video a long time ago, so my video making skills are not great. I'm trying to explain stuff and missing stuff. And anyway, I've had a lot, a lot of guys that ask me questions on that series, and that's pretty cool. Uh, this one is uh, interesting and. You know, they all those old motors. I'll just say the difficult level on them is pretty high, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the the th part that really gets kind of difficult is timing it out. Um, and uh, one of the things that I would say about it is that you know, on your Lincoln sink, or they call it the Lincoln sink, where the distributor is the trigger you know it's also sending you know spark to the to uh, the plugs but uh, inside of it is a couple magnets and that acts as the trigger to send voltage to the switch box so but the real big thing is like what you know it's very uh, it's it, it seems very arbitrary in the book so in my book, like on all the old, uh, you know, Johnson, the Evan Reeds, they had like a measurement, I guess, as a guide to uh, adjust this rod. And on these 500 series, everything in line, and a lot of engines, but this one in particular, like when you adjust the throttle cable, then it adjusts this, and then it also adjusts your sink to the carburetors. So there's two 5 sixteenths nuts on this plastic piece that adjusts the carburetors. And there's a primary and a secondary pickup on them. And so it's kind of like... Since I don't know what this is actually supposed to be, I don't even know if they ever even had a spec for that. On mine, I kind of went, I ended up at like basically three and three quarter inch. And that's from the middle of this bar to the middle of this bar. And then I adjusted my throttle cable until we get uh, it's supposed to be seven to nine degrees before top dead center that's your idle older engine you might have plus or minus two degrees but most likely it's more uh, plus two degrees so this one and it'll fluctuate just slightly so that's why they say seven to nine degrees so this one's hitting about 10 is where it likes to sit. And I initially made a little mark here, but really it ended up being about here. Uh, now, once you get that set, then your primary pickup is, so on the primary pickup, I don't know if we can see it or not. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'll give you a little light here because it is hard to see okay so this is the plastic piece with the 5 16 bolts so your primary pickup is right there and you want it to just touch and maybe slightly crack it and what I do is 
I I loosen these five sixteenths nuts, these two, and then I push it in and around until it until it uh, it idles out good. And I put them in a tub so we get some stuff because it was obviously it was kind of out of time. So if you see some oil in your tub, don't worry because you may have had it out of time and you know you'll get some of that all right so uh on our remote it's the old style remote that's the warm-up lever we're gonna put it all the way wide open throttle okay so we're in wide open throttle so so the next thing you want to do is this screw and jam nut adjust are wide open throttle now they say for this engine and I'm gonna double check because I don't know if I put this cowling back on but this could have been from another motor uh, I'm gonna double check this and our wide open this says 35 degrees before top dead center at wide open throttle so we got my old my grandpa's timing light over here it's a Mac tools from the 80s TL 805c I don't make it anymore my Innovision the 3568 it's not it's just not it's cheap it doesn't do good it's supposed to have a tag it's garbage so I got out my grandpa's old Mac tools I don't want to clean this up and I'm going to use it because this thing is great. It does 6 and 12 volt, which is pretty cool because I mean I could do it on a, on a like a motorcycle if I wanted to. So what I'll do then, we got our plugs out. Okay, we've got our wires just laying there. I'm going to use a CDI. Uh, basically a tech spark but I want to basically ground out the coils so I just use this I've got you know a little wing nut set up that I made and and that's pretty cool but this is better so I'll ground out the coils and then I've got a remote start because I'm gonna since it's not in neutral I'll have to remote start it so I've got a remote start and then we're gonna get our timing light up here and see what that what that's ending up at. The second thing is once you check your wide open throttle, you also use, need to use something to crack that nut and this and this adjusts your butterflies or the secondary pickup where you would adjust the butterflies on your carburetor should be wide open. You have to get a light because of this front plate really limits what you can see on your carburetors. So get a light, shine in there, and make sure your butterflies are wide open. If they're not, then you need to adjust this screw until they are. Let me just say you're going to go back and forth several times until you get this right first. You know, where you get the throttle cable right. Because you'll find, well, it's not open up far enough. This screw that I originally had on here was too long. So I think I had the wrong piece. And then this is just tidbits, but uh, I replaced it with one of, one of the older ones. And, and then that nut that on the older one was too short. So I ended up going, and this nut should be about an inch and a quarter, I think is about what it needs to be in order to make that adjustment so we've got quite a bit more now but the other nut i had was only one inch and it would not open the butterflies all the way so we got that set now we just need to check our wide open timing the last thing that i will say is when this is supposed to be your idle stop or like it would be timing where this would rest against here and this should be your seven to nine degrees it's not it's not to give it more gas or anything that you would think 
okay it's not an idle uh, adjust like I'm gonna adjust the idle up no it's not this is just to stop the server from going like say five to six degrees or something like if it came back too far now I'll tell you that where this ended up resting this screw is not long enough so whether these three screws are all the same length I'm not sure but or if I had the wrong stop here but this is not long enough. but that's fine because it's not gonna move it's not gonna jam back uh, I might look and see if I have another one but I don't think so this is the slot throttle stop and that's also like once you get the carburetor wide open you need to adjust this nut so it's resting against the throttle stop so it wouldn't bend your your carburetor throttles too far so that's what that one is and then this one is where we adjust our advanced timing and that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to hook up my CDI unit get my timing light out remote start and then I'm going to remote start it and check the timing and then I'm going to adjust this nut until I get the correct timing thanks for watching thanks for subscribing liking and all that stuff uh, really appreciate you Are you